Hi everybody. On a horse farm, sometimes even as sad as it could be, it's you gotta make uh, financial decisions and herd direction decisions. So I am having a little bit of a reorganization in my structure. We have six horses here, ranging from babies all the way up to old brood mares uh, with some good riding horses in between. So pretty much anything you would be looking for other than geldings. I like mares better than geldings and uh, so everything here is either a filly or a mare. They don't have to go. I'm not gonna get desperate and take them to an auction or anything, but I'm kind of looking to rehome these because of the direction I'm going with um, my breeding program. I have a few really high-end uh, show horses that I'm gonna start breeding that we're gonna phase out of showing. And then I'm gonna start breeding a few more crossbreds with Oliver because I want to learn um, some of the reining and cutting disciplines. And my friend Greg has agreed to teach me if I raise some cutting type horses. And I wanna raise crossbreds to learn that on. And then I'm raising crossbreds to start I want to raise a, some Foxtrotter crossbreds to learn to make some teams and start working teams. Um, so I'm going to do that. Then I have my show horse brood mares and I have several, several young ones. So with the drought this year and with all of that, I have six horses I need to um, find homes for and then I'm going to offer up available for uh, Christmas presents just in time for Christmas as if any, anybody is looking for a Foxtrotter. So let's start with the baby. We'll get her out in the sunlight and we'll show you what she is. And then we got her mama in here too. So this is Magnolia. She's nine months old. She's fully weaned. She's sweet as can be. She's got a winter coat on, which makes her look even lighter than what she kind of naturally is. You can see her color on the tips of her ears and on her muzzle a lot. And she has a white blaze. <laughs> Does she have any white on her feet? No, nope. uh -uh. she's solid there. Yeah, so. She just has the blaze. Yeah, she and she is a granddaughter of Image, which is a really good high-end reproducing show horse that was my stallion that just died this past year. She got her broke to lead and to mess with a little. And she's been up in the uh, weanling pasture with all the other weanlings. And really, the only... The only reason I picked her of the five weanlings to sell is because um, she's kind of the most desirable because of the Palomino color. Everybody likes Palominos, so I thought, well, I'll just offer her up to sell. And secondly, she's the only one of the five that's not out of my current stallion, Bob. So if I'm going to put a couple of years of training into a horse, I'd just as soon be um, putting it into my own bloodline. That way I'm kind of propagating my own, you know, farm a little bit. So that's why she's available. She's actually of the five, she's about the chunkiest and biggest. So I she think she's chunky. gonna, even though her mom is tiny, uh, I think she's gonna be a good sized horse. I don't know her father. I have the papers and we'll show them right now. So she is registrable, but I don't have the papers back on her yet. But we're working on that. We'll get that taken care of. How tall is Jewel, her mama? Jewel's just barely 14 hands. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, we'll pause it and we'll get her out now. Okay, so this is Magnolia's mother. Uh, her name is Jewel, and we came across them at an auction, or I found out that they were going to be at an auction in this past April, and we believe that Magnolia might have actually even been born at the auction house mm -hmm. um, because the man that had owned them before didn't remember the baby, but he had a little touch of Alzheimer's, so it, it, we don't really know the, the full story. All I knew was Jewel was out of my stallion image, so being it was kind of our prodigy, we wanted to make sure that our foals got taken care of. So we bought her, got them all treated and healthy, and then turned them out on pasture for the summer where they could be together. And then once we weaned Magnolia, I started training Jewel because she had just been used as a broodmare. I've got quite a few rides on her now. Uh, but she's just not big enough to handle to handle my size of a rider. And uh, I'm, I don't have any help right now, so I'm gonna offer her up. So she's to the point that anybody, uh, any good horseman, amateur, can finish her out. She 
She has a great flat foot walk and is not pacey at all. She does have some trail riding experience. We've tried to keep the ride short and on flat ground due to her size. She's good with creek crossings and has not been very spooky at all. hard part's done, the dangerous part's done, and she's got a really good foundation and start under her. And um, What's her age? She's nine years old right I don't now. know if you said that. Okay. Yeah, she's nine years old. And like I say, she's out of image, so that makes her a half sister to this year's current world grand champion. And her mother is a really well-bred patriot bred mare. Mm -hmm. And that'll also show you the mother of Jewel's papers and will post, or not Jewel, Magnolia's papers. Yeah, um, Magnolia's the, Dam's papers, and then we'll post her sire's papers too. That way you can see what her papers are going to look like when we get them back from the association. I would like to have 2500 for Magnolia, and with her being started and the training I've got in on her, I'd like to have 3500 for her. Okay, this is one of my favorite brood mares. Her name is Chablis, Chablis <laughs> like the wine. Um, she was shown in the three-year-old fraternity and got a reserve in the three-year-old fraternity. She's a very good show horse. I have a clip of me riding her that will interject right about now. And she's got a lot of action and she's a big framey stocky foxtrotter which is what everybody's looking for and if you look at her belly maybe you can see that she is very heavy and full and she is a good mama she's raised two babies so far a palomino and a sorrel and we still have the sorrel over here it's baby rain if you look back through the videos and she has an injury a few injuries <laughs> she ran into the barn header out in the pasture loafing barn and crushed her sinus cavity. This was a while back. A while back. We had the vet take care of it and uh, everything is good to go. It causes her no issues. She also has a scar right here that causes her no issues. It's just ugly. That happened before I got her. But it does, there's no lameness, no soundness issues, and she's just a brood mare anyway. Mm -hmm. She is bred to our stallion Bob and the foal that she produced out of bob last year is super gentle and loving nature and it's going to be big so oh your hair is messed up <laughs> so we'll show her papers uh her father i believe was a world grand champion also Bo jangles was his name and she's got a good pedigree on the, the dam side too she's definitely high quality fox trotter yeah, can throw is. a lot of animation a lot of good uh stride she has a beautiful walk with her having, you know, expecting a foal, uh, I would like to have $3,000 for her. Uh, I am, you know, got a little wiggle room on her if, or a trading room if somebody wants to, you know, talk to me about the price if they're if she's going to a good home. But she's got the potential to throw a real good dark Palomino foal again with Bob's attitude. It, it could be invaluable. And um, she's young, so she's got a lot of years of breeding left in her. And she's a very good natural mama. Yeah, she was such a good mama. She, and yeah. she wasn't, like, we had her in the round pen. She wasn't mean or anything like that no. to us. She was very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. She did a good cool. job. Okay, this is Miracle. And she is almost four years old. And... The last couple years, we've done a lot of groundwork with her. We've taken her to the river to go swimming a bunch of times and sat on her in the river and just really has a good foundation under her and we started the right way with a lot of time and patience put into her. 
We've had her shod multiple times, I've had her teeth worked on, and I fed her a lot to try to get her to grow. Well, this is just all she's going to be. She's a small, <laughs> small horse. She's uh, just over 14 hands tall and pretty finely built, but she's powerful. She's a powerful little horse for the, her size. Um, I've got her broke to ride. She started with about 30 days of riding on her, half of that being in the barn, half of it being out up and down this valley. So she's seen all kinds of obstacles and trails and I just do really short uh, trail rides and I get off and walk her a lot because I'm so big. So about every mile I'll get off and walk her 100 yards and give her a breather and then I'll ride her again, you know, no more than three or four miles at a time. But she doesn't seem to mind my excessive body size for her she she handles it very well she's tough so anybody that's a little bit more moderate size human than me if you wanted a horse you could ride hard and go up to the mountains and and cover the ground she can keep a 10 minute per mile pace on a trail ride as long as you want to go uh, when I've had my daughter's rider or something we've covered a lot of ground fast when we've had some friends down that have some faster gated horses and she can move. And she has a really good run walk and a good flat foot walk and she can chill out and walk slow too. So if you wanna go slow. If you wanna see more videos of Miracle, you can see her on her own playlist on our YouTube channel, Homestead Horsemanship. She's by no means a finished riding horse, but she has started uh, the right way. So now, all the hard parts done if somebody wanted a smaller horse that they could finish out she's really beautiful in the summer when she sheds off she's not really out of anything notable breed wise which is nice because it's a fresh bloodline from what everybody's breeding now she's just what i call a good country bred horse out of the good old fox trotters you find out in the country and uh, she's gentle and sweet and beautiful so got the whole world ahead of her i would like to have 4500 for her Of the six that I'm selling or offering for sale, this is the one I want to sell the least <laughs> because I want the baby that's in her belly really bad. But I just have to give some options because I know not all of them are gonna sell. She is one of the last daughters out of Annie Rue that's still breeding. So she's old but she is confirmed in full to my stallion Bob right now. I think she's 19, we'll show her papers. She was shown as a young horse. She's not sweet <laughs> and she wasn't gentle. Yeah. <laughs> but with her, with her bred to Bob, uh, the baby will be gentle. She's built great. She has a big old quarter horse build and she's heavy boned and um, she's, like I said, she's out of some really good stuff. Um, for those of you that don't know who Annie Rue is, she is what was unanimously known as the, the greatest Foxtrotter show gates there was. So they made Annie Rue the standard. So you talk about the breed standard. There's a video of Annie Rue walking and trotting both. She was so good at both gates that her walk, her flat foot walk is the breed standard and her foxtrot is the breed standard. So when we learn to be a judge or we go to the judging, quit babe, we go to the judging um, class seminar, her mother is the horse you have to watch to learn what we're trying to judge for. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, I really want this baby. However, I would let her go. Um, 2,500 gets her and the baby. If you're one of my friends, cause I got a thousand friends in the foxtrotter community, and you want her, I will sell her extremely cheap if I can have the baby. So like if if you would take her now, so I have my Christmas money that I'm needing, birth out the baby when it's weaned, I get it back, I, I'd sell her for like $500. And then also, you can always have the option to bring her, if you like that baby, you can bring her back and breed her to Bob again. 
but I just want to raise a show horse out of this mare and Bob to see how good it would be. So that's kind of, you know, something I'd be willing to talk about and discuss. And like I say, I really don't care if I sell her. Okay, this is Homestead Karen. She is a great little horse. She's going to be two in April. So she's got her whole life ahead of her. And she is um, out of that bloodline of um, Jester's Charming Legend bloodline, which is like the, the, one of the hottest three bloodlines going right now. So she's very um, similarly bred to a mare that we used to have called Legends Gypsy Rose. That was a good show horse. Uh, Ty Chapman is showing her now and doing real well with her. And Jim McNail had a mare that was bred just like this horse. The good thing about her is she's really showing like she's going to be taller than all of those. She's already over 14 hands tall. And she's just, like I say, she's just coming to in April. Uh, the little measurement tricks you do with like the fetlock to the knee and the, the fetlock up to the elbow and then up are showing that she's going to be 15 hands, maybe 15-1. Her parents aren't that big though. I didn't think she would get that big, so I'm a little bit surprised at her growth. I've done a couple trainings with her with just a round pin and working on her feet, and she's got to where I can trim her feet real well, and then she's, you know, broke the lead. But that's about it. When you work with her for a couple days in a row consistently, she a sweet side really comes out in her, um, because at first she's not real sweet out in the pasture or anything like some of the other horses. I think she has, has it in her to be a very sweet horse. And like I say, she's show quality, but would also make a great trail horse. And she's bred good enough to be a really good brood mare. So anything you want, she can do. Um, just a good horse. We'll show her papers. Her actual sire is um, Legends Game Over. And, I, and her mare, uh, the mare that she's out of is um, Talk of the, the town. town. We'll show her papers, but anyway, it's one of Brian Oglesby's brood mares, so it's you know top-notch stuff. Uh, uh, you know he's the president of the Missouri Fox Trotter Horse Breed Association, so you know he's not going to have anything that's not top quality. So I'd like to have uh, twenty-five hundred for her. We decided not to add our contact to this video. Uh, it just adds to too many spam calls and different things like that. So if you're interested in one of the horses or you have more questions, you can find our email in the description of this video. And we're also on Facebook at Homestead Horsemanship. And you can send a message through Messenger. And that's a real easy and good way to get a hold of us. You can also drop a comment. Uh, and then you can comment on our Facebook page also.